We've highlighted the role of athletic trainers on the front lines of the pandemic since March in our series Athletes at Risk. Today, they helped in a whole new way. Here's Chris Rankle. On normal days, this court is full of passes and plays. Today, it was full of educators waiting for a cart to roll by as they rolled up their sleeve. On normal days, Brittany Bingham serves just shy of 1,300 high school athletes as an athletic trainer for Mason. I particularly work with football, volleyball, girls basketball, boys lacrosse, and softball. But today was historic. Mason City School staff received the COVID-19 vaccination. Today I am serving the employees of Mason City Schools, which is an excellent opportunity to show them who we are and really to expand them knowing that we don't just provide services for athletes, that we are here for general individuals and their health care needs. Athletic trainers are considered the health care professionals of the sidelines. They are taught how to do basic medical procedures like injections. But currently in Ohio, their Practice Act prohibits them from doing so. That means while they know how to give a shot, like the COVID-19 vaccination, athletic trainers instead are only allowed to watch. It's an underutilized uh, workforce that could help actually push the vaccine out to more people because we'd have more people to work those clinics. A bill to update the Practice Act was making its way through the legislature last year, but the pandemic stalled in the Senate. Local 12 Investigates has learned that Representative Rick Carfagna is planning to bring forward another bill regarding the Practice Act. Instead, you are all set. Bingham registered staff as they took part in what Mason Superintendent Jonathan Cooper called the next phase. It's almost emotional to watch a year later our staff come together to get the vaccine so that we can move forward to get back to some stability, some normal. And it's a year that a group of health care providers has spent quietly serving on the front lines from testing to tracing to vaccine. For Local 12 News, I'm Chris Rankle. Mason's athletic trainers and coaches were among those who received their vaccinations. To learn more about how athletic trainers have helped schools navigate playing in a pandemic, head to athletesatrisk.com.